On this day, 56 years ago, Malcolm X, born Malcolm Little, was killed in the Audubon Ballroom in Harlem. El Hajj Malik El Shabazz is one of my greatest heroes. I have learned in my research about his evolution from being in forced care after the murder of his father, serving time in prison, to his ascension as an outspoken leader of the Nation of Islam, Mosque Number no. 7 in Harlem. What drew me closest to Brother Malcolm is the iconic photo of him with the AK-47 with the words, by any means necessary. On this day, I want to read words I wrote about that photo and its meaning. I call it, by any means necessary. Many, if not all of us, have seen the image of my hero, Malcolm X, looking out the window of his home with an AK-47 in tow with the words, by any means necessary. Those words and the weapon Malcolm X chose to have in his hands has so many meanings to me. You see, while most may see it as use any means to protect your home and your family, and make no mistake about it, I do as well, I also go deeper, especially in the times that we're in. I have seen black, brown men, women, and children activated in ways I haven't seen in my entire life. The weapons we have used are hitting the streets in protests over the black bodies killed by those paid to protect us without provocation. We've used the weapons of our voices May they be via social media posts, our music, or the powerful voices like Sister Tamika Mallory. We use our weapon as writers via blogs, editorials, poetry, and as I did in an anthology with Kevin Powell's Writer's Workshop. My weapon of choice beside me voting is the only thing that seems to move those in power, money. As a financial professional, I see how wealthy clients use their wealth. They use their wealth to support their families, their very own habits and hobbies, education, businesses, but most importantly, political campaigns. You see, racism is not free. It's paid for by those who desire to control those who do not have wealth. The top, the top contributors to the campaign for the former White House occupant are a who's who of the richest in the world. But that wealth that is used to support policies and politicians that seek to oppress us is supported by us black and brown people. That's why I created this platform for black and brown business owners to sell to clients that look like you. That's why I bring content to over 171,000 members in all 50 states and 99 countries throughout the world to empower each of you by seeing black excellence. That's why I will not be part of a moment in time, but a movement to empower black business owners to build sustainable, prosperous businesses throughout this world so that we can build this generation's black Wall Streets and real life Wakandas so that we can truly educate our children about the fact that they come from kings and queens and it will no longer be an insult in their minds when racists say to them, go back to where you came from. Also, they will stand tall in knowing that our ancestors built this country, that all will no longer, that all of wealth on this planet was created off of the backs, labors, and dollars of black people and brown people. You see, the black dollar leaves the community faster than all other racial groups. We are last in all races of creating general, generational wealth. I know we can change that. Seven months into having this group, and I know black and brown lives have changed. I have the emails to support that. So let's do what Brother Malcolm said. Let's not only see the one weapon in his hand, 
but all the weapons we came into this life equipped with. Let's do it because our ancestors' greatest, because we are our ancestors' greatest dreams come true. We have a responsibility to see true equality come true by any means necessary. Again, my name is Jerome Hurt. I am founder and CEO of Buy Black for Life. I thank you. And again, I hope you enjoyed my reading of By Any Means Necessary on this, the 56th anniversary of the death of my hero, Malcolm X. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye.